Earlier this week, we got our first taste of what HTC's big new flagship phone might offer, and it showed a very powerful 5.5-inch phablet with some top-notch specs. However, an even newer leak suggests the company could be going in another direction with the One M9. According to some reports, HTC's next phone could feature a mix of high-end specs and mid-range hardware. The device will apparently come with a 5-inch 1080p display, a next-gen Snapdragon 810 processor, a very high 20.7 megapixel camera, a 2840 milliamp battery, and could launch with Android Lollipop with Sense 7.0. Oh, now comparing these latest leaked specs to what we heard earlier this week, we're not really sure which rumored version of the device we prefer, though it's possible both models could be in development, and we could possibly see two variants of the HTC One M9 in 2015. It could be a few more months before HTC announced its next flagship, but we're already itching to see how the company plans to follow up the One M8. Over the weekend, alleged schematics for the so-called iPad Air Plus hit the web, giving us an early glimpse of Apple's new tablet also known as the iPad Pro. The device is expected to pack a massive 12.2 inch display and a few nice surprises as well. One of these surprises could be four speakers. Yes, four speakers that'll deliver stereo sound, two on its top and two on its bottom. And that's in addition to the 12.2 inch Retina HD display and Apple's next gen A9 chip. Reports are saying we could see this new alleged iPad Air Plus hit stores between April and June 2015. The concept of a larger iPad is pretty exciting, though we're not sure it needs to exist with interest in Apple's iPad seemingly on the decline. We're hoping it'll be akin to Microsoft Surface Pro though it's hard to say at this point. So we've been hearing a lot of rumors about the Galaxy S6 recently, and a new report suggests that when it does launch, there may be more than one device to choose from. According to the usual anonymous sources, Samsung plans to launch a limited edition Galaxy S6 Edge, offering a curved variant of the rumored flagship phone, similar to what we saw with the Note 4 and Note Edge. Now, early last month, there were reports that the Galaxy S6 could even sport two curved edges in an effort to set the device apart from its competition, though it looks like the flagship device could feature a more traditional design. We're still assuming the Galaxy S6 Edge will offer similar specs, just like the Note Edge holds similar internal hardware to the Note 4, but of course, this is just a rumor for now. But we wouldn't be surprised to see Samsung make another push with its curved display technology next year. Let's take a quick break from this video and thank our friends over at Full Sail. Now, as you know, virtually every industry relies on software technology, and Full Sail University, located in Winter Park, Florida, offers a bachelor's degree program that addresses the need for skilled tech professionals through a curriculum that blends code and theory with real-world experience. Whether you're into web design, making apps, and or software in general, Full Sail will teach you the fundamentals in all of these courses on campus or online. And if you want to learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. And again, that's fullsail.edu slash technobuffalo. So last but not least, let's talk a bit about some Nexus goodies. Motorola is reportedly planning to release a spin-off version of the ginormous Nexus 6 as part of its regular lineup of smartphones. Now, according to some rumors, the device will fit into Motorola's lauded family of Moto X and Moto G devices and actually come with specs that are even better than those found on the Nexus 6. If the rumor is true, that could potentially give Motorola a trio of really, really great phones. The company already has the Moto X, the Moto G, and the Droid Turbo, and we can't wait to see what comes next. I have a guess it might be called the Moto S, but who knows? When the device does hit stores, it'll supposedly come with the same 5.9-inch QHD display found on the Nexus 6, alongside the latest Snapdragon 810 processor, which will take advantage of Lollipop's fancy new 64-bit architecture. Sources also claim the device will include 4GB of RAM, yes, 4 gigabytes of RAM, an enormous 4,000 milliamp battery, which is even bigger than the Joy Turbo's 3,900 milliamp battery. Just imagine the Nexus 6 as it is now, but even better. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I'm sure by 2015 we'll hear plenty more about the supposed Nexus 6 spinoff, but I wonder how Motorola plans on marketing this device when it's sharing the same shelf space as the Nexus 6 at carrier stores. Either way, I'm excited for this gargantuan beast when it does hit the market. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Rumor Roundup. I'm your host, Mark Linsangan, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo, and we hope to see you guys there.